two. Hi, fitness fans. It's D with Better Body Image here today to help you work towards your better body. We're going to start with looking at our Better Body Image dashboard because today I'm going to be entering the amount of calories I've had so far. And today I have had 601 calories this morning. So I'm going to be indicating that I consumed those calories and notice that my running deficit, I have 1,589 calories left to burn, but I'm going to burn off some calories right now so that I can add those to my calorie deficit and that will give me more calories that I can consume today. So let's go back to the dashboard and let's go to our workout. Today, we're going to be doing the banana workout. Now, previously, you remember I might have worked out with you during the potato workout, the apple workout, or the pear workout. So those are the four body types. You know, in my 15 years of research, I found that there are four specific body types and that each body type works best with a specific program. So that is the information and data that we've entered into the BBI to help you get in the best shape possible the fastest. So today we're going to be working on the banana shape. So let's get started. We're going to start with a travel circuit. Now the banana shape works best if we do just a little bit of cardio up front and then start with our weight training. So you can march in place. You could lunge forward and back. You could step side to side, or you can use your treadmill, or you can go outside and take a nice long 15 minute walk. Then come on back in and we're gonna start with our weight training. Now on the banana workout, we're traveling through each muscle group. So we're gonna start with the biggest muscle groups first and work down to the smaller muscle groups. So first of all, we're gonna to come to our beautiful massage table that you probably don't have at home. So you're gonna be working out on the floor. Sorry, but you can always go and purchase one of these lovely massage tables and fold them up and put them away when you're done with them. So we're gonna start first of all with our chest press. Now on the travel, we're gonna do one set of each exercise for each muscle group. So we're gonna start with the chest press first. So let's come up, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, noticing I'm coming up nice and slow, right up over my chest. This is nine, 10, my core is nice and tight, 11, 12, 13, 14, we're gonna do 15 repetitions. So there, we've done our chest exercises. So now we're gonna convert to our back muscles. So just one set of 15 of your chest, and then we'll go right to our back. So on the back muscles today, we're gonna to do a bent row. So let's come down and we're gonna come straight up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, abs in tight, back strong, eight, nine, 10. Now, if this is not a good position for you, or you have a lower weight back, you can always drop down to the floor and finish. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. All right, great job, guys. So, so far we got two exercises under our belt. Now we're going to come back to the chest. So now we're going to do the fly. Again, back is down. Weights are up, we're gonna come out to the side and bring the weights all the way up just to shoulder level and back in. There's one, two, three, four, five, here we go, six, good job, seven, eight, now you're doing these along with me at home, right? Nine, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to our back exercises again. So, so far we've done our chest, we've done our back, 
We've done our flies, and now we're going to do our lats. Lat exercises, we're going to do right from the bench here and come straight back, and we're going to lift up. So we're going to come up one, two, three. You can hold here, four. You can be on a chair, five, six. Squeeze in, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, elbows in, 12, 13, squeeze in, and 15. Okay, how about we go to the other side? Because we have two arms. So let's come down here. This is another way to do the lap pull. So we can come all the way down. You can put your arm on your chair here, tuck that ab in, bring that knee up, come in one, two, three, four, five, squeeze in folks, six, seven, eight, now it's really important, nine, ten, that banana body types do weight training. It's important for everyone to do it, but it's really important for this particular body type because this particular body type tends to be linear, so you don't have quite as much muscle mass. Therefore, one of the things that could happen is that you could be prone to osteosporosis because there's not a lot of weight on the bone. So we want to add weight to the pose, right? Okay, so we've got our chest, we have our back, we have now our lats, and now it's time to work our shoulders. So for shoulders today, we are going to do a straight arm raise. So we're going to come all the way out, one, two, three, four, five, right to eye level, six, seven, eight. It's always great to count when you're doing your exercises because it actually forces you to breathe. Breathing is very good. Breathing, or not breathing, I should say, would not be a good thing while you're exercising. And there's 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, we're going to do 20 of these, 19, and 20. Okay, so we've traveled through our muscle groups, we've gotten our chest, we got our back, we got our two chest exercises, the flies, and we got our latissimus dorsi, and now we've incorporated the shoulders. So now it's time to travel on to the biceps. So here we go, biceps. Get those guns out and let's come up. One, two. So we're going to do a regular bicep curl. Three, four. Abs in tight. Five, six. Come on, guys, do this with me. Seven, eight. Now, by the time you get to the biceps, it's about the time you start losing your sense of humor. So try to think of something really fun right now, besides doing these bicep exercises, that you're going to do after your workout. So we're on 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. All right, we've got one muscle group left, right? It's the triceps. So now we're going to come and do our tricep exercises. So these can be done a couple of different ways. One way to do them is just to stand, come straight back. I prefer to lean forward a little bit. It gives me a little bit more of a brace. And then I'm going to come up and I'm going to go straight back. One, two, three, four. See, squeezing back. Five, six. Come on, guys. Seven, we're almost there. Eight, nine. 10, five more, five, four, three, you got this, two, and one. Awesome. Okay, got to work the other arm. Okay, because we don't want a nice toned arm on this side and bingo arms on this side, right? That would not look good. So you'd have to wear a long sleeve and a short sleeve and you have to be cutting your sleeves out. That would be very, that'd be a lot of work. So let's just do a little extra work on this side, and that way we don't have to do any of the other stuff. So all the way back. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, squeeze back, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You got three more. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Actually, that was four more. I can count to 15, but I can't count to four. Okay, so there we've traveled through all the major muscle groups. We've got our chest, we've got our back, we've got our shoulders, we have our biceps, and we have our tries. So now it's time for you to do that two more times. Ha ha, you're gonna continue to work out one more time, again, through the entire muscle groups, and then another time. So you're gonna do three sets of 15, one set of 15 through each muscle group and repeat it two more times. Now, if you're really on your game today, you can do a little bit more cardio at the end of your workout, another 15 to 20 minutes. So until next week, I will see you and you stay in great shape and get that better body.